Because it was happening after the first half, uh, this, the scoring that was progressed in the four or five points. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Is that the very first half? Yes. After that, I think you scored five points for the rest of the day. Yeah. What do you thought that was um, I, I don't know. It was obvious we were very flat in the second half. Um, we knew, obviously, Mayo and they had done it in the Connacht final as well. Um, we're going to come with a lot. Um, I think just we found it very difficult to get out past our high press and we struggled to build any sort of momentum and um, a couple of mistakes, a couple of bad decisions maybe made and uh, and we just... I, I thought at one stage if we could get a score or two, um, it might start to ease the pressure and we'd um, we'd uh, ride out the storm. But we just ne- never could get that extra score, that additional score that was going to put that safe distance between us. And and you could see it building then, and it was very hard to disrupt their momentum that they obviously generated significantly and got back into it and you know got the draw and won an extra time obviously. What did you tell your guys at the end? Did you like to reset for extra time? Was that difficult? Yeah, well, I think we were, we probably had played so badly in that second half that you, you felt we were going to, you know, try and make amends and redress that situation. Um, and we just, the black card then, really, when, when legs are tired and there's a lot of fatigue in the system, a black card at that stage was a killer. And uh, it was very, very difficult for us to get the ball back, you know. And um, uh, a black card at any stage is is problematic. Uh, the way teams are so capable of keeping possession, but um, particularly in in extra time, uh, as I say, when there's a lot of tired bodies, tired limbs, it was exceptionally difficult then for for our lads at that stage. So um, that probably um, spelled the death knell at that stage, you know. Um, not not particularly. Uh, obviously, you'd you would like to be coming in um, to this stage of the competition with a little bit more momentum or um you know your collective team form a little bit better than it was you know there was we showed glimpses of it here and there and good patches really good patches and I was looking for that consistency i think that we we're missing all year and um and again first half looked really good at times and just the second half um was the exact opposite of that you know so um it, it's hard to diagnose connor but it's you know i, I think it, it revolves around the lack of consistency across the quarters that was hurting us and uh, it manifested again today. And the group has done so much to make this, it's not got it in the power. The last of chances are actually even like mm. What's the fair sort of initial reaction to it now? Uh, the, the massive disappointment, obviously. Um, you know what, what that group have achieved, or, or the vast majority of them, um, has been tremendous and. Um, and it's you know they've managed to date to keep going back to the well and keep doing it and keep doing it um which i can assure you isn't easy when you know the hours uh, that goes into it and, and the commitment that's required and the detail in behind it um a lot of people see players turn up here on a saturday or sunday and you know don't really understand how it takes hold of your life outside of that and for them to be able to consistently do that over the last um, five, six years, as I say, the bulk of them, uh, that's been a phenomenal achievement, you know. So, um, uh, so it's some of them have obviously experienced this before, uh, a lot of them haven't, you know. So, but overwhelmingly, it's it's disappointment in there, and that's natural enough. You've been very good to see an opening in the last few games, and a lot of the last maybe five or ten minutes. What do you think changed there? Um, I, I don't know, to be honest. I'd, I'd have to sort of review the tape on that, but I just think it was that high press and there was a strong breeze down there. We were, we um, weren't sort of 
retain enough primary possession off her own kick out, uh, a couple of big balls there, uh, breaking balls that uh, are momentum shifters as well that, that we didn't uh, we didn't uh, capture, you know. So um it was um yeah, it was it was tough to watch in that second half for sure and um you know those a lot of those lads have been such warriors over the years. It was just you could see that um, the limbs and the bodies were tired there, and uh, and it was just hard to really regenerate any level of momentum from from anywhere in that second half. And um, you know that that's the nature of sport, and sometimes those things happen, and it's it's hard to come up with a fix or a solution for it. Yeah, look, I I think we're always um, you know. It's, in a state of, of transition, you know, players come and go, and that's been the case. There's been a significant amount of that over the last uh, two seasons. Um, I, I'm not sure what's what's going to happen next season. I'm sure some individuals reflect on where they're at and and uh, can they go again. Um, as I say, it's not easy to keep going to the well, but um, anyway, that'll be a decision for, for some individuals. But there's a lot of new blood in there as well, and that, that need time. and need exposure and you know I'm sure there's a lot of fellas will be looking to looking forward to getting that type of time in a national league uh, whenever that comes around Yeah, I'm I'm sure, and I, I think Dublin supporters, by and large, like it's they'll they'll still remember when there was a dearth of um, success in this county, um, and that's not too long ago. Uh, um, so I'm sure they appreciate uh, what's gone on in the last number of years, and uh, I'm sure they'll they'll afford the team and the, these players, um, whatever level of. Uh, patience or courtesy or whatever is going to be needed over the next uh, period of time you know but um you know who, who knows what lies ahead like as i say there's um while there's transition and the team continues to evolve um there's still a lot of young good blood in there you know that um uh, will be will be excited about what the future holds for them and it's important for us i think um management uh, county board supporters, um, not to quench those dreams and to and to try and facilitate and encourage an environment where where those individuals can flourish as well and step up to be be similar or maybe have the same success as uh, a previous generation. I know the game is just over. What's your thoughts on Mayo? Like they have come, they have come to the well so often. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. And you have to have nothing but uh, huge admiration for them. Um, you know, and I think it's something we touched on inside ourselves as a group. The, um, you know, the Dublin team have been have been very humble and have shown a lot of humility in victory over the years. And uh, I think we're uh, we're exceptionally gracious in defeat as well. And you know, hats off to Mayo. They were uh, that second half performance was, you know, we just couldn't live with them. And and the best team won at the end. Of